So this is team 13-1 for 5002 Comstruct and this is our full adder. Uh, it consists of a Zor, an AND and an OR gate in the following arrangement. And here's the schematic. So we have our three ABC signals, the green wires, and our two signals, the high bit and the low bit, also known as sum and carry, going back to the FPGA and some power wires. So if we turn on the FPGA, by default, it will be running an auto test. So it will run through all eight combinations of inputs, and then it would uh, graph out the output. You can also see it on the card. And if it passes, you'll get a pass. Um, let's simulate a fault. So I will disconnect one of the cables, and then I will reset the tester by hitting uh, my reset button. And then uh, it should fail at one of the tests, which involves the high bit because the bit is not connected. So as you saw, it failed and uh, it tried again. And it will keep trying until it works. So there's one more mode called direct control, AKA manual control, where you flip this bit and then you'll see D and three digits, All right? So uh, let me put this back in. So in direct mode, you can use these three buttons to send. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. So those are all 111, and uh, yeah, you can see that it's correct. But I can press, I can try to press two buttons with one finger. Ah, so yes, those two, those two, and this is gonna be challenging. I have fat fingers. Ah, yes, and those two. And now I will try to press all three of them. Oh, this is difficult. There you go. So that's direct mode. You can exit out of direct mode without resetting by just like flipping it back and then it will resume back into automatic testing mode. So this is the FPGA tester. Uh, we also have the manual tester, like the completely manual that circumvents the FPGA. So um, I will change to it now. So um, you can just remove the card. It's designed in a way to be able to just remove and then the signals come out here and the power lines are here so we have the completely manual testing system which is just a bunch of resistors and buttons and a battery so you can put this here uh, the card goes into this slot over here and then we have nice color-coded power sockets and once you wire it up you're good to go. So now I can press A, B, C, A, B, B, C, A, C, and then A, B, C together. And yeah, that's the complete manual tester. It's pretty straightforward. That's how the soldering looks like. Thanks.